Hey everybody, Zach from Primrose Productions Music here today with another horrible case of mask beard. As I'm sure you're all aware, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so we've all been wearing masks, and if I wear one for more than five minutes, my beard looks horrible. So, here we are. Anyway, today what we're going to be talking about is the new amp I got. It's the Bugera 6262. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Bugera, they make basically clones of some really popular amplifiers at a much more affordable price. This one is obviously a clone of the PV5150 Mark II. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be checking out today. And it's gonna be a fairly straightforward video, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna set the camera up in front of the amp and we're just gonna play a track, play a, we're gonna play a pre-recorded guitar track through the amplifier and just I'll tweak the knobs in real time so you can see what how they affect the tone of the amp and we'll just mess around with it from there. So before we do that I just want to go over the signal chain real quick. So we recorded the DI guitar with my LTD EC1000 and that's going into the SMG cock blocker gate pedal and then that is going straight into the Bugera. Uh, then the Bugera is going into a Marshall 4x12, and we're miking it up with a Sennheiser E906. So yeah, it's, like I said, pretty straightforward video. Um, let's jump right into it.
as you can see there, it has a pretty decent clean tone, unlike the actual 5150. Uh, then the lead tone is, again, pretty good. And honestly, I'm not a fan of the crunch channel. Uh, I like it with that brightness switch kicked on or with the treble turned way up. But other than that, I don't really like the crunch channel on it. But, I mean, hey, two out of three ain't bad. So, yeah. And like I said, I like the lead, but I feel like it needs a little more energy. So let's check out what the lead and the crunch channel sound like with an overdrive in front of them. See, that overdrive, I feel, gives that lead just a little bit more energy and kind of makes it a little bit of a tighter tone. And the, the lead by itself was still pretty good, but with the overdrive, I think it's a fantastic sound. So all in all, it's a relatively inexpensive amplifier and it still gets a monster tone out of it. So I'm really happy with it. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description, but it's a pretty good amp overall. And when you put the price point in front of it, it's just unbeatable. Like the amount I paid for this amp for the amount of tone I'm getting out of this amp is amazing. So I, I really like the Bugera stuff just because they keep it so inexpensive, but they still get you monster tone. And obviously they're not exactly like the amps they're trying to replicate, but they're like 95% of the way there. And 95% of the tone for a third of the price, as far as I'm concerned, that's a pretty good deal. So yeah, I encourage you guys to check it out if you like the sound that I got out of this. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.